Oh, I just noticed this thing came off. We can't have this. There's got to be continuity between the fucking shows here. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this thing never comes off. It's right when you tape a fucking special, then everything just falls apart. Royal Albert Hall, huh? Where did you buy this mic stand, huh? <laughs> Where the fuck did you get this? You know the mic stand guy's all fucking pissed off. Right, that's a jolly good fucking mic stand. I know, is that the fucking yank? <laughs> fucking yank, bitch, you know, son, everything fucking falls off on her. <laughs> How dare you, the queen comes down here and sits in a box and watches this show. You know what I heard about you guys? <laughs> Actually, by the way, I've been over here for a week, and as an American, I gotta say something. You guys are pretty fat, too. <laughs> been on the same tour for this hour for almost over a year now um dude bands tour for like four years and then fucking go right back in the studio make another one and keep going you gotta toughen up man yeah you're right huh you know what do i do camouflage you camouflage hat looking like a fucking backwoods guy all tough and shit you can't handle doing your hour again <laughs> i mean come on man suck it up so i finally walked up to this old new york door guy and i was just like dude what's going on what's with all these people here and he was just like, oh, no, 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 don't worry. He goes, it's, it's June. He goes, it's Pride Month. And I'm like, what's that? You know, I'm 52. I never heard of it, right? <laughs> they didn't have that when I was a kid. He goes, oh, it's Gay Pride Month. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> Dude, you know when you're just like stuck in the matrix and you just can't, everything's just pressed up, you can't see anything, and then somebody gives you that little nugget of information that just pulls it back? It's like, why is it so crowded? It's Gay Pride Month. Ah, tank tops, zero percent body fat, two guys kissing, rainbow flags. Ah! If I give you this, will you give me start giving me shit about the fucking cheating? I'll give you this, and I'll give you, you give this. Give me dollars? Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up now no, about the no, cheating. No. Oh, well, now he's trying to go aggressive. You gonna try to gorilla your way through this? No, keep your chips. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. We don't care about money here. It's all about... He's just trying to buy it out with like 11 bucks. <laughs> buy it out. Hey, now will this shut you up like he just pulled up in a Rolls Royce? <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Okay, they're always talking about how to make a woman happy, but I don't think they do it enough to help you guys out how to make a man happy, right? The great thing about men is we're f***ing simple. So here's the thing right here. You want to make a guy happy? How about four times a year? Once a season. You go out to the kitchen without him saying shit. You go out to the kitchen, you make a sandwich, you get him a beer, you walk out, you give it to him, you don't say a word, and you just fucking leave. <laughs> you do that, you keep him happy. That's all it takes. Now, I know right out of the gate, this is coming off sexist, right? It's because I'm saying, go out in the kitchen, make your man a sandwich. I'm not saying women belong in the kitchen, barefoot and pregnant, rubbing my balls. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Grab a beer, walk out, just hand it to him, don't say shit, and then fucking leave. And when I say leave, I mean leave. I don't mean walk into another room for like 10 minutes and then stick your head back and just be like, did you like it? Was it good? Great. Don't yell at me, I just made you a sandwich. They took away our strength and tipped it in their favor. Hey, good on them. But then don't come back at us and, and then you stole our offense and won a Super Bowl. Fantastic. I get it. This is big boy stuff, but don't come back and start crying. Bill Burr here on the Rich you know, I love That's like those, those man, Trump I'm, guys. They're always going like, ah, you snowflakes, F your feelings and all of that. And then yeah. you make fun of Trump. They're like, oh my God, it's so disrespectful. I it's saw, like you're saying F Joe Biden. It's like, you can't have it both ways. So that's my thing as a Pats fan, okay? Yes. It's just like, if you're doing it too, quit your crying. Quit your crying. I mean, hey, you know. How's your, uh, how's your wife's uh, hands doing these days? Oh, they're fantastic. I love my wife. You know where you stand with her. Okay? The guy walked in the arena. Everybody cheered. She gave him the finger. Nobody got arrested. That's why this country's great. Everybody expressed themselves. Can we all be adults? I mean, I don't know about you, but I came there to go to the fights. I didn't know I was going to the Republican National Convention. My, my favorite thing was when Trump was going, thank you. Thank you. You know what it reminded me of? When OJ got acquitted. Remember that? When he's going, thank you. Like, I can't believe I'm getting off of this. Thank you. Thank you. Tom left Belichick. And there was this sense that Belichick wore his ass out. He was exhausted from it. If you had to pick. Oh, my God. Are you going to go real housewives on me here? Well, I'm saying. You weren't in the locker room. You don't know what I, happened. Who I, you talk to? I'm some American. Other, some other guy who never played professional sports <laughs> by the water cooler.
You don't know what happened. So that's that's all my ink. I have this uh, mic on, so. Yeah, that's all right. Be a gentleman and help me off with my coat. <laughs> hey. hey, Cody, can you believe that marriage didn't work out? <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe your relationships don't work out. <laughs> um, here, I'm, I'm glad. I'm you can ask me about anything you want. Yeah. Of course I'm blind to. Of course I'm interested. Here, let me help out before you <laughs> yell at me again. <laughs> Look, there you go. Ah, there you go. The love. There's the love. By the way, dude, the elk's been delicious. Thank you. How you like it? I've been chowing it for like four days. Like, out of respect for that fucking elk that you shot. It's like I'm eating all this shit. I don't care if it's fucking bed. Does it make you more aggressive? What? Elk. <laughs> no, Joe, you fucking <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Huh. Somebody gets in my face that might cause me to get more l- lunatic. I eat a little bit of protein. You had to beat the fuck out of people for like three decades before you could like chill, smoke a little weed, put on your little rascal's hat and just fucking chill out. <laughs> You don't understand. I love him to death. But this guy is the most testosterone fucking filled dude I've ever met. That's why I love him. I love him. First of all, it, it, what really counts is who's scarier. Dude, there's no way I'd ever let you get those farm hands on me. <laughs> this just... <laughs> Farm hands. Yeah, you guys can literally fucking change a tire. Look at how beautiful I look. You could change a tire with like a crescent wrench. Just fucking come up and just, just fucking turn it like that. Do you know you and Mario Batali You're... have the exact same hands? <laughs> what are you talking about? I used to love watching Mario, Molto Mario. When he, he would make the yeah. pasta with the well method. I got to know his hands. He yeah. has those fucking sausage fingers. Yeah. Are you attacking my hands? I'm a hand model. No, like <laughs> when we do... I don't really believe in much. Like, I don't believe in Santa Claus. I don't think Jesus. You gonna tell the kids this? Well, Jesus was like the first Chris Angel. You know? (laughs) Chris Angel is doing, Chris Angel is doing everything that Jesus did other than pulling the fish out. He's walking on water too. You know? (laughs) They both got the long hair and the the good body. They don't wear shirts, you know? I just don't like, no, I'm really, like, I know what I'm going to tell my kids when they get to a certain age. I, I really am. Like, I have it down have about a religion and, and people. Really? Narcissists, sociopaths, all of this type of stuff. Like, you want to see a great case thing on, like, narcissism. Liberals are so stupid the way that they handle Trump. You what do know? you mean? You should shut up. What, He's a narcissist. Neutral energy. Yeah, you no think he'd, You think he'd go away? If you know what I stopped? think he was? I think he was a one-hit wonder. Uh huh. Right? He wrote the twist, uh-huh. and then that was it. He was on the casino circuit, and then you yeah. idiot liberals wrote him twist again yeah. when you indicted him, and yeah. now he's a martyr. And now he's, he's coming got back, Jimmy. The peppermint twist he's is back. He's coming yeah. back. <laughs> it's gonna be great for comedy. He's coming back. <laughs> Sorry, I just got like $9,000 to fucking fly here. You know what I mean? Yeah. No offense, but there's no Eiffel Tower here. I think that's a little pricey. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for not just laughing. Thank you for verbally letting me know that you appreciated that. Thank you. <laughs> she either has no stairs in her, in her house or someone doesn't know how to walk. I'm just fucking with you. Feminism doesn't bug me, you know? 
It doesn't bother me. I'm not afraid of it or anything like that. You know, for the simple fact that I know it's going to fail, you know? And I, I take comfort in that. I do. I'm not rooting for it because I know it doesn't like me. Um, yeah. Do you know why I, you know I think it's not going to survive? Why it's not going to be successful anyways? Because they still need men's help to make it happen. I don't understand it. I don't understand why women just can't work with each other and make this shit happen. They keep coming to us like, you more men need to care about this issue. Where are the men to stand up and say something? Like, why do I have to fucking say something? This is your fucking problem. Why are you always dragging us into this shit? Shut the door. Uh, get me some water though. Come back. Jesus Christ. Yes, you're, I'm a man. I asked you to do something. You're a woman. You go and you do it and you don't ask questions. Bill, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's like I was saying. They're sitting there bitch moaning and complaining about all this stuff they don't have. But we, really? You, really? you know, and it's <laughs> like you fucking outlive us. Really? You outlive us. Well, you know what? You have a birthday coming up. I know exactly what I'm getting you. Big bag of Fritos. You're an asshole. <laughs> Yeah, so they're always bitch moaning and complaining about what they don't have, right? You know, do they ever look around and see what they do have? A whole fucking platoon of shoes, huh, that their guy paid for. I'll tell you what I have. Right? <laughs> oh, snap. 12 to 6 right there, baby. <laughs> hey, Nian, you know why I make more an hour than you? Because I'm better than you. <laughs> you with your girlfriend uh, living in LA? Yes, I am. I'm technically married, but I'm married how like I want to be married. Yeah. Which is, I don't sign that behind the music contract <laughs> where, you know, <laughs> everything works it's, out until it doesn't work out. Has... <laughs> yeah. No, you see, Sugar Shay Mosey, one of the greatest boxers of all time, he's losing his championship belt in a divorce. Oh, that's losing, yeah. It's like you're trying to break a man. Why does she want those? <laughs> Break so they, 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 they go with their shoes. <laughs> no, and I love how when you get a divorce, all of a sudden it costs like 50 grand a month to give a kid Fruit Loops. Right? <laughs> These guys, I'm telling you, there all of a is sudden. an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. <laughs> and it is just not being addressed oh my God. on any level. What are you talking any about? Level. What do you mean what am I talking about? Every guy out there is just getting, nobody's safe. Oh my God. Nobody's safe. <laughs> Football players, you actors, politicians. Nobody's safe. And they never safe. get called whores. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's maid is still called the maid <laughs> in the story. <laughs> she knew his wife on a first name basis, hooked up with this dude in their bed. And it's still called the maid. <laughs> Why did she bang him? <laughs> Why? Jeez, yeah. Because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking? Right? <laughs> you don't think it's because of that kindergarten cop money he's got laying around the room? <laughs> I'm not, and listen, I'm not condoning what the man did, but yeah. you know, there just needs to be, guys need to be educated. There's nothing out there. <laughs> to help a guy handle becoming rich and famous for that, that, that platoon of whores that's going to come <laughs> over the hill. <laughs> like, like Braveheart, faces painted, oh skirt on, just platoon running down the whores. hill. Yes, there's nothing out there. No, it's like guys never learn how to keep themselves in check. The hustle and grind, I carve my path. Each step forward in aftermath. Dreams pulsate within. Fueling my fire with determination to blaze, I never tire. Day by day, I chase the gleam. In the labyrinth of life, I craft my scheme. I'll nurture my aspirations, let them thrive. In the symphony of ambition, I'll strive. Rise up and showcase your might. Show them what they do. They say us take flight. We'll scale the peaks, reach the zenith's height. Together we'll ascend, never falter, never slice. In the face of adversity, we stand tall. With grit and valor, we heed the call. No setback too great, no hurdle too steep. We're the 
architects of our destiny, the dreamers who leave. So let's rise, let's soar, let's defy the limits imposed, reach for the sky. With unity as our strength and courage as our guide, we'll conquer the horizon side by side. Society does it for you. Yeah. Just women aren't going to bang you because you drive the forklift at Home Depot, right? <laughs> Despite the fact that you want to bang all of them, they're not going to do it. So you didn't keep yourself in check. The forklift job did, right? <laughs> then all of a sudden you hit a lot, the lottery, you know? Yeah. And then you can just give in to all of that. Like, I don't, I'm so sick of all these trolls coming on TV, <laughs> judging these great men. <laughs> These great men, all these guys, anytime one of these guys gets caught for screwing around, these guys come waddling out of their cubicles with their jowls, their absolutely reprehensible behavior. Like, they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level. You know? Yeah. yeah. As you walk over to your Ford Focus, are you really beating these women off of you? All those people who judge Tiger Woods? How many people here golf? When was the last time you walked off the 18th hole and there was a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to hump your brains out? And you were like, sorry, ladies. You know? I'm so 